Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. You know, it's always important to to ask yourself, am I flowing towards my goals? I think a, a very important thing to understand is manifestation doesn't happen in an instant. It'd be, very, uh, it'd be a very sad universe. We wouldn't actually like it if every single time we wanted something, it just turned up. There is a beauty in the journey. There is a beauty in the journey. There's a beauty in, in starting without and then creating. Who agrees with that? You know, there, there is a, there's a beauty in that. If, if we, uh, you know, the, those ideas, you think it, it turns up. Uh, imagine, imagine if that's all you had to do. First off, imagine being in high school and every thought you thought uh, just turned into reality. That's, that'd be a very scary world to live in, you know. Uh, imagine if that was true. So, so you know, there's, there's a bit more to it than, uh, there's a bit more to it than that, isn't there? Yeah. And so, you know, when we want to create, we must understand that we're going to spend most of our time on the journey. Yeah, we're going to spend most of our time creating than at the creation point. Yeah. See, uh, if we set up our life that we can only be happy when we have the creation, can you see how we never, it doesn't make sense because you spend most of your time creating. And when you're creating, most of the time, your current reality is not the desired reality. See, all current realities are just an earlier version of your desired reality, right? So, so over here is your, you know, your, your desired reality. And then you have current reality, current reality, current reality, current reality. And it's moving. You see, you might be here. And then you move to here, then you move to here. They're all just earlier versions, but you sometimes think that you, you're here on this mountain peak, right? You're here and you want to get over to this one. And so as you're climbing up, you might see yourself have come down here and you're in this valley, right? And you're thinking to yourself, oh, I'm further away. But were you really? See, sometimes you're here, you're standing in this mountain peak. And you go in, you know, or you climbed it, and then all of a sudden you've gone down again. And so you're standing down here going, oh, now I've got to go up there. But the truth is, there was no other way. Does this make sense? There was no other way. Like, you know, you, you, there was no other way. You couldn't, you couldn't do it unless you stayed here, which is which isn't closer. So sometimes you think, well, I'm further away. So you know, this here might look like you had a job and you want a business. Oh, no, now I've got no money. Oh, no, but you're actually closer. You're moving because you quit. Or maybe here you're in the wrong marriage, and here is divorce, and here is the right marriage. You see? Can you see? Can you see how it can look? It can look like you've got further away. You go, well, I... Chris, there's more to climb, at least then I was there. Does this make sense? All current realities, no matter how they look in the short term, are all earlier versions of the desired reality. See, sometimes we can be moving forward, we go down here and we go, oh, you know, I'm so sad, I want to go back to this. You see, oh, look, I'm actually, oh, I want to go back. And then you can just go back and forward and sit around, you know what, I'm, I'm creating, I'm trusting, I'm going there no matter what. And so you must keep moving forward. Does that make sense? Some, every current reality is an earlier version of the desired reality. But sometimes, and write this down, sometimes things have to break. Sometimes things have to break. See, as humans, we go, I want something different, but don't take away anything I've already got. 
I want new, but but don't. But there's no room, you see. I want an ama- I want to have. I want to have more, but don't you change anything I've already got. Well, well how's it going to show up? You see, and then we get ourselves so short. To, oh no, but I don't have it now because we can't see what's going to go there. And and is it? It's interesting. Uh, look at some of the cool things that you've created or amazing things you've created, and then notice the hard times. And in those hard times, if you had given up back then, would you be able to have it? Do you see? You like you look back and you look at the hard times. You think, well, that hard time was actually the fertile soil for creating, creating what I've got. But in the moment, it doesn't look good, right? In the moment, your your ego goes, "What do people think of me? It's always going to be like this. It's terrible." True. Your ego in the short term can get all tied up, caught up with what it's lost with what it's lost. The truth is you can never lose it when you already become it, when you're already super conscious. When you're already super conscious, you always have it. And each creation is simply just an earlier version of the next creation. See, in alchemy, we talk a lot about the pendulum, okay? In alchemy, you're here, and then the pendulum's down here, and it swings like this. When you're at the low vibe, when you're in the 3D reality, you get hit around by the world. The superconscious is the top of the pendulum, the fulcrum. It never moves. See? All the swing, all the pain happens when you're down here in the bottom. Yay, look how good I am. Oh, now I've lost it. Look at this amazing marriage. Oh, look at this. All the pain is at the bottom of the pendulum. But when you have it now, you're already there. You're just as happy. You're just as happy in the job as you are here, you're the same. And so you're just enjoying the journey. See, the only time that you are upset with the current reality is when you've made success personal. The only time you're upset with the current reality is when you've made success personal. Can someone type that in? The only time you're upset with the current reality is when you've made success personal. See, when you've made your, when you've made your creation about you, Isn't that weird? Like the only time that you're upset at what you've currently got is when you make it mean something about you. See, if you were already it, if you were already it, who cares what's what's current? You see, if you were all, see what I'm saying? If you're already happy, abundant, living your life on, if you're already all of that, oh, okay, wow, Robert, look at that. You see? But we're so bored in, tied into it, but you got to ask yourself why. And the only reason why is because it means something to you, you know? You're bought into a reality that success makes me a better human and failure makes me a worse human. You see, you're bought into it. And so the current reality looks bad. Oh, you get all upset. You lose your life. You lose moments. You lose moments, you see. Most of the time you're on a journey. Most of the time you're on a journey and each current reality is just an earlier version of where you're going. That's it. See, when you're in the vibe, when you're in it, when you're feeling it already, you're just, oh, okay, now it's this, now it's here, right? Well, the market's tanking, it's doing this, you see? And the key is when you've completely acquiesced to the moment, when you're completely happy with any option, you're just in it. That's when you fully are not worried anymore about what others think or about what you've got. And you become like a laser beam, right, on exactly exactly where you're going. And you pull it in. Instead of all this focus, right? All your focus on what you don't want or how you're hopeless. See what I'm saying? Everything is is about how you made it personal, right? What your creation is not you. I mean, what you've created is not you. What you're creating is not you. It's not you. It's not you. See, all of our upset, all of our worry, all of our angst comes from us making creations mean something about us. You see? It's not you. You're not your money. You're not your family. You're not your body. You're not your marriage. You're not that. You're something else. You're bigger than that. Does that make sense? You're the fulcrum. You're the top of the pendulum. See, all the worry is about, well, if this event happens, what would that mean to me? I mean, nothing, because you're a creative source, creative spirit. Like, you just create what you love. 
Someone takes it all away from you, you build it back up. Mm. And see, what if the reason why you haven't been able to create what you want is you haven't realized what you really are? What you really are, which is the creative spirit creating it all. And what if on some level, what you're creating is part of, is, is part of your little game you're playing? And once you stop playing that game of um, being good enough or uh, proving someone right or proving someone wrong or, or um, being better than or being perfect, what if you stop playing that game and you said, what do I really, what do I love to create for no reason? Because I'm already good enough. I'm already perfect enough. I'm already uh, worthy enough. I'm already deserving. I'm already, uh, like, I can't be anymore. Let me ask you this question. What if you couldn't be any more enough what if you couldn't be any more worthy? What if you couldn't belong anymore? What if you couldn't, what if there was no way to be loved anymore by the world or less? What if there was no, what if there's no way to do that? What if you were already all of that? What would you create? What would you create? Knowing there's no way to be more or less loved, no way to be more or less worthy, no way to be more or less. That's an interesting question. Who agrees? It's an interesting question. What would you create? All current realities are just an earlier version of what you're creating, all of them. But all of our dissatisfaction in life comes from us making what we've created about us. You see, and it's just not. Once you truly get the magnetic mind method, once you truly understand that you can have it all now, and that's the only truth is that you have it all now, you get it all now, you are the creative spirit. Once you truly accept that, then you focus on what you want to create and go for it. You see? And for no reason, you just have it. And that's the key to the wizard's gate. That's what you open up. However, we're so busy worrying about what it means to us or what I got to do. What if, what if you already had it? Yeah. Everything is your creation, as Stephanie said. Everything is your creation. It's as much, but it's not you. Everything is your creation. Just like an artist paints a, a masterpiece. They're not the masterpiece. They created it, you see? It means nothing about them. It's just a thing that they created, you see? The joy of creating it is what they really should be going for. You see? You see? And so the idea is you can have it all now. You can have it all now. Now is no opportunity wasted. It's when you get into the magnetic moment when you already are it. Most of, our, most of people's lives simply swing like the pendulum because they are trying to resolve how they're not it. Most of people's lives swing like the pendulum because they're trying to resolve how they're not it. So they have a current reality and they say, okay, my current reality is that I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not enough. I'm not good enough. So they say, you know what, you know what, you know how I'm not good enough, Chris? They say, I'm not good enough because I don't have enough money. Chris, you know how I'm not good enough? I don't have, uh, I don't have enough love in my life. You know how I'm not good enough? Uh, you know, I haven't impacted enough people. Chris, do you know how I'm not good enough? Well, uh, my health isn't perfect. And so they say, you know what I'm going to do? Move this across. They say, I'm going to create a desired reality and it's going to be good enough, man. They say, it's going to be good enough. And so I'll have, instead of not having the money, I'll have the money. I'll make the impact. I'll have the love of my life. I'll have the health. And they go, yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. 
And see, so they say it's not enough. Don't have enough money, not enough love, not enough health, not enough impact. So over here, I'll, I'll have it. Now, the problem is, is that all makes sense. Except in reality, it doesn't work. In reality, it doesn't work. Because if they spend a, if they spend a lifetime doing this, okay, they created an identity. Identity. The D still seems to me like it's taken way too much of the weight in the, that little acronym. The I gets away with just a little bit. Identity. So they have I. They have an identity, and their identity is tied to this. So their identity says, "I'm not enough." Now the identity doesn't want to change. So as soon as you start moving to about halfway. It says, wait a second, if you were to actually reach this good enough when you had the money, the impact, love, if you're actually to reach that, well, I would have to change and become good enough. So you know what? I'm not going to let that happen. So I need to pull us back here and I need to create a reality of not enough. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sabotage. I'm going to put doubt. I'm going to help you make bad decisions. I'm going to make you fail. Okay, I'm going to pull you back to here. So now you thought you were going to move, but your identity pulls you back. And so you get annoyed at it. You go, well, every time I try to do that, you know, there's something wrong with me. So inside this identity, you then say, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to fix myself. Now, fixing yourself, question, does fixing yourself move you towards this reality? Yes or no? Does fixing yourself create any of this? Does it, does it, it doesn't do any of that, does it? You still, it doesn't matter. All that fixing yourself makes you feel good. Makes you feel like, well, I improved myself. I learned something. I did this. And so what happens is you, you went to fix yourself and you do, you know, you did something and it was good. It felt good. But you know what? You still are in this reality. You still go, well, now I feel fixed, but still current reality is not enough. So guess what? I'm going to go for it again. But now this time, as you go for it again, now your identity got even stronger that you must fix yourself. This becomes you. And so this huge boulder becomes this big thing that you try to move. And eventually you do this so many times that you get sick of it. You go up like this and it's just this loop. And it literally looks like the pendulum. You go swing the pendulum forward a bit and then back again, back a bit. And you just stay right here in the middle. And you never get to this promised land where you have it. And this is what we're here, this is what we're here to change. <laughs> Peter's asked, why isn't Magnetic Mind focused on creating our identity? Because there's no identity that is perfect. See? It's not, it, it, when you look at successful people, none of them have the same identity. You see, here's what they all do. It's all about focus. It's all about focus. It's not about you. Creating, can everyone type this in? Creating is about focus. Creating is about focus. Oh, Sharon, that's crazy. Creating is about focus. See, when you are focused on trying that, that you're not good enough and that you'll become good enough, you're in this whole structure. See, creating is about what's the focus? So let me ask you, where's Peter at? Where's he, where's he gone? See there? Peter, say hi. Where'd you go? He's there somewhere. Where, there is. Okay, Peter, look, where's the focus in this structure? So what's the focus on in this structure? What's the focus? Uh, 
the focus is on how I'm not good enough. Yeah, that's the focus. You see, the focus is I'm not good enough. And so I'm going to create the opposite of this to become good enough. Is it true? That's the focus. So the focus, the focus is the challenge. See, they didn't, this, this imaginary person didn't actually say, what do I want to create? They said, I'm not, this isn't enough. This isn't enough. This isn't enough. This isn't enough. So what do I need to do? I need to have all of that to become enough. But all of it is in a specific structure focused on that I'm not enough. Who's getting it? See, the focus creates the structure. The focus creates the structure. There's no specific identity that creates anything, but it's a, it's a brilliant question. See, Steve Jobs created Apple. He was just focused on creating Apple through all of his challenges. Okay, see, musicians, they got, they're, they're not perfect people. You know, they're just focused on what they're creating. Right, they get they face heartbreak and you know uh, rejection. You, you, anyone that you have seen, the one thing is then they just they focus on what they're creating. You see, that's why you know sometimes you see these pictures of you know billionaires and you know they're they're still wearing plain clothes or whatever. You see, and everyone goes, "See, this is what a trillion dollars looks like, right?" Or something like that. no Gucci belt in one photo, whatever. Who knows? I don't I don't know those guys. But what I do know is, as you can see, it's obvious that they weren't trying to create money to then show off. You see, they were like, they just were focused on creating what, they, what they're creating. Everyone's capable, Peter. Peter said, but their identity knows like everyone's capable. There's no such thing as being incapable. Once you focus in the right place and then you follow through, you create. No such thing, no such thing. And so when we focus, that is when we're there. But see, look at the, if we go back to the, if you go back to what I was talking about earlier, this person that gets all unhappy here, where is their focus on how, what it means to not have it? If they just stay focused on where they're going, they're going to get there. Focus, focus, focus. And so you must ask yourself, and here's the topic of today. You must have, you ready for it? You must have a magnetic focus. You must have a magnetic focus like a laser beam pulling it in. So you got to ask yourself, what am I focused on? Am I focused on how I'm not capable? Or am I focused on just creating it and figuring it out on the way? I mean, every single baby that learns to walk, they don't learn, they don't know how to walk. And then they fit focus and they do it. You see, it's about where they're focused. They focus on it. They're not worried, oh, I fell over. You know, what does everyone think about me? Am I the am I not going to walk? They're just focused on creating, they're focused on creating. And so you must have a magnetic focus. Your focus is a telltale sign of, of, of everything you're about to create. Is it right? Is it right? Like your focus, where's your focus? But so often uh, uh, what we think we're focusing on, on, on and the truth is, is opposite. A lot of times we, we don't have it. So the first thing is you must realize that you can have it all now there's nothing that you can create okay there's nothing you can create that will give you more or less of what you have now uh, Paul has asked the question are we focused on trying to create a new identity no 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 there's nothing wrong with your identity we're just not trying to resolve our old identity you see we're realizing that we're fine <laughs> that we're whole and it's interesting because once we realize and accept so you're ready for the you're ready for it i wrote it down on my phone <laughs> oh, it's funny i wrote it down on my phone because i was out meditating you ready for it change starts with accepting how you are who you are and where you are until you've accepted it and are happy with it no change can happen you see, until you're, until you're realizing that I can just focus, you see, we're not trying to resolve or fix. We just go, you know what? I'm freaking awesome. 
<laughs> I'm awesome. I'm great. I'm amazing. And I'm perfect. And I got everything that I need. I can have it all now. Cool. That's where it starts. Hey, and then what am I going to create? With all this energy, this life force, this spirit, this inspiration, this intelligence, this imagination, what am I going to create? Oh, I'm going to create millions of dollars. Cool. Let's do that. Oh, I'm going to create a happy, healthy relationship. Oh, I'm going to, cool. I'm going to create that. But I'm, it's not going to make me any better. You see, I'm just not going to make me any more amazing. I'm already freaking awesome. You see what I'm saying? Focus. Focus. I did, yeah, focus. It's important. A recode isn't, we don't work on the identity uh, in recode. So recode is going to remove resistance to what we're creating. So removes resistance. Now, by the nature of removing resistance, uh, it does have you be in a new identity because you become a creator, but it's, it's kind of like a byproduct of doing it. For example, if you focus on creating confidence, and you focus on creating confidence, you're no longer an anxious person. Does that make sense? Because you created confidence. See? And so as you went and focused on creating confidence, you were no longer an unconfident person. Does that make sense, Bruce? So you're no longer this an unconfident person or an anxious person. So, so through the nature of focusing and doing the recode, yes, your identity probably becomes different. True? Is this true, everyone? Do you get this? Is this right? But you don't set out with the intention to change it. You see? Because you're focused. And, and, and as you're focused and as you're creating, maybe you're just, maybe things, you, you do become different. So uh, let's work on let's work on creating something beautiful, hey? Let's work on uh, let's let's work on the creation. And so you create, and as you as you create, sometimes uh, it turns into reality, and you know you you seem like a different person, and sometimes you create, and you didn't do nothing had to change about you. It's it's of no consequence what happens to your to to it's not it because you are all you're just focused on creating, and this is the key. This is the key. Where's my focus? Where's my energy? Where's going? Stay focused on your end result. What you truly want. Take the obvious action. Make it happen. Stay focused. Stay focused. It's a big thing. It's 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 probably the most important thing. 